Welcome to Storyflix. In this video we will explain for love or money. This movie tells the love story between a fallen noble lady and a rich heir to a large company. Will the story of two human beings with two different backgrounds have a happy ending like the story of Cinderella? Let's find out in For Love or Money. For Love or Money begins by showing a woman named Sheen Lu who works as a flight attendant. As she crossed the street, Sheen Lu almost got hit by a passing car. Because she was in a hurry, she rushed away from there. However, the driver who almost hit Sheen Lu earlier took a picture of her for whatever purpose. One day, Sheen Lu told a friend that she would resign from her job as a flight attendant and wanted to set up a cafe. While out for a walk with her friends, she stumbled upon a lavish wedding party in a building. She was very surprised to learn the groom's name, namely Zhen Min, which was none other than her boyfriend's name. To be sure, she decided to enter the building. Sure enough, Zhen Min the groom was her boyfriend. Sheen Lu felt shattered after finding out that her boyfriend had betrayed her and married another woman. She burst into tears and immediately left the place. Knowing Xin Lu's presence at the wedding, Zhen Min immediately chased her out of the building. They finally met in the pouring rain and Xin Lu then took all her anger and disappointment on Zhen Min. However, even more shocking was that Zhen Min married another woman just because he wanted to control his father-in-law's wealth. Zhen Min said that he will return to Xin Lu once he is determined to be the rightful heir because he only loves her. Hearing this, Xin Lu was furious and chose to leave the man. Hurt by heartache and deep disappointment, Xin Lu finally decided to end her own life by jumping from the top of the building, while the people who saw her from below looked excited and worried at her reckless act. The police and firefighters were also prepared downstairs to anticipate Xin Lu's suicide by spreading a giant mattress made of rubber balloons. They then tried to convince Xin Lu to give it up. A man named Cheng Zhu who happened to pass by the scene seemed curious about what was going on there. Seeing a woman trying to commit suicide, Cheng Zhu then sneaked onto the roof of the building secretly. He tries to persuade Xin Lu to give up her suicidal thoughts. But Xin Lu was determined to end her life. She jumped up, and Cheng Zhu, who tried to save her, also fell down. Luckily, they both managed to survive because they fell right on the giant mat that had been prepared in advance. Cheng Zhu, who was still worried about Xin Lu's condition, then followed her into a cafe, which turned out to be hers. Because of the incident, the two of them finally got to know each other. Cheng Zhu seemed to have liked Xin Lu from the first time he saw her, because in reality, the person who had almost run into Xin Lu was Cheng Zhu, and he was very happy to finally see Xin Lu again. Cheng Zhu stopped by Xin Lu's cafe every day to approach her. He also provided a sketch of Xin Lu wearing a flight attendant uniform that he had drawn himself, in which he revealed that he was the one who nearly ran over Xin Lu in Vienna at that time. Hearing this confession, Xin Lu was very surprised and did not expect to meet someone who had almost run into her. One day, Xin Lu came to Cheng Zhu who was daydreaming on the roof of the building. Cheng Zhu revealed that he was an ordinary artist who was not yet well off financially because some art gallery directors were reluctant to exhibit his works so he couldn't get income. Cheng Zhu then felt confused because his finances were running low. Hearing that Cheng Zhu was facing financial problems, Xin Lu then offered him to work at her cafe. Cheng Zhu immediately accepted the offer. Since then, the relationship between the two became closer until they eventually became lovers. One night, Cheng Zhu was seen in a crowd of people who were racing wild cars on the streets. To earn extra income, he intends to participate in the car race because the monetary rewards offered are quite tempting. Cheng Zhu finally managed to win the car race, and with the prize money he got, he then invited Xin Lu to have dinner at a fancy restaurant. Cheng Zhu and Xin Lu then chatted about their family while enjoying dinner. Xin Lu reveals that her mother died long ago, and her father remarried another woman. Xin Lu's father used to be a rich man. But because he was incompetent in managing the family's finances, he eventually fell into poverty. Cheng Zhu and Xin Lu then rushed out of the restaurant after a minor incident occurred due to a misunderstanding. The next day, Cheng Zhu takes Xin Lu on a date to the amusement park, where the two of them seem to be very happy enjoying the moment together. After returning from the playground, Xin Lu seemed interested in a ring displayed in a jewelry store window. Cheng Zhu, who also saw it, made Xin Lu feel awkward and left immediately. Cheng Zhu had time to see the price of the ring listed there. One day, the man who had lost a bet when Cheng Zhu was racing came back to Cheng Zhu and forced him to return to the race. When Cheng Zhu refused, the man threatened to make a scene at Xin Lu's cafe. 
Hearing this, Chang Zhu couldn't help but obey the man's request. As the race progressed, Xin Lu suddenly appeared, so Chang Zhu lost focus and lost. Xin Lu was furious when she found out that Chang Zhu was taking part in a life-threatening wild race and immediately left him. Because he lost in the car race, Chang Zhu had to accept his punishment to run home completely naked. Chang Zhu sneakily sneaked into the cafe, but was caught by Xin Lu. Seeing that Cheng Zhu was not wearing any clothes, Xin Lu just laughed and handed him a blanket. But Xin Lu was still angry that Cheng Zhu had taken part in the wild race, especially after finding out that he treated her to dinner at a fancy restaurant the other day with the money from the race. Seeing Xin Lu sad, Cheng Zhu took her somewhere to show her something. It turned out that Cheng Zhu took her to his apartment and showed him all the paintings on Xin Lu's face that were his creations. Xin Lu then asked Cheng Zhu to paint it one more time. But when he was about to paint, Cheng Zhu was very surprised when Xin Lu suddenly took off all her clothes. However, Cheng Zhu still painted her with all his heart. After finishing his painting, Cheng Zhu then covered Xin Lu's innocent body with a blanket while holding her tightly. Xin Lu then reveals to Cheng Zhu that she had lied. But Cheng Zhu didn't understand what she meant. One day, Xin Lu's ex-boyfriend sent her an old magazine in which there was an article about Cheng Zhu who turned out to be the son of one of the most influential and respected conglomerates. Xin Lu then went to Zhen Min's office, where he said that Xin Lu was just like him, that is, having a love affair with someone just because of their wealth. Hearing this, Xin Lu was angry and emphasized that she was not like Zhen Min who only wanted his wife's wealth. Long story short, Cheng Zhu suddenly proposed to Xin Lu with the ring that she had a crush on some time ago. Cheng Zhu revealed that he had to sell some very valuable paintings to buy the ring. However, he didn't mind it because he really intended to propose to Xin Lu with the ring. But Xin Lu burst into tears and then left Cheng Zhu just like that. Xin Lu then headed to the roof of the building where she had tried to commit suicide before. She burst into tears as she shouted, apologizing to Cheng Zhu for wronging him. After feeling a little calmer, Xin Lu went back to Cheng Zhu and said she wanted to end their relationship. It turned out that Xin Lu decided to return to Zhen Min. Cheng Zhu caught the two of them on a date. When Cheng Zhu demanded an explanation from her, Xin Lu said she had never loved Cheng Zhu. With tears in her eyes, Xin Lu revealed that her father was hospitalized and needed a lot of medical expenses. She said she didn't want to spend his life with a poor man like Cheng Zhu who didn't have a bright future. Cheng Zhu couldn't help but cry out in resignation hearing Xin Lu's words that hurt his heart. Meanwhile, Zhen Min was furious when Xin Lu refused to have sex with him because in fact Xin Lu still thought and cared about Cheng Zhu, even though she had told the man otherwise. In fact, Xin Lu purposely gave such hurtful excuses to Cheng Zhu to make him stay away from her even though she still really loves him. It turned out that Xin Lu had a pact with Cheng Zhu's mother to make him fall in love with her, then dumped him because he was a poor artist. Cheng Zhu's mother deliberately did this so that her son would return home, take care of the company, and give heirs to maintain the honor and good name of the family. Xin Lu actually fell in love with Cheng Zhu, but she couldn't avoid the 15 million yuan contract she had signed. After that incident, Xin Lu became very depressed and took it out by drinking alcohol. She was very sorry for betraying Cheng Zhu. Whereas so far no man has ever loved her like Cheng Zhu. On the other hand, Cheng Zhu finally decided to return to his mother's house. His mother also seemed happy when Cheng Zhu came back. Cheng Zhu's mother didn't want him to become a painter because she didn't want Cheng Zhu to be like his father who decided to end his life because he felt he had failed as a painter. Long story short, Cheng Zhu becomes the CEO of his family's company. After becoming a CEO, he then sold all his paintings for only one yuan because he wanted to close and forget his past with Xin Lu. At the exhibition, the most precious painting was bought by someone for 15 million yuan. Cheng Zhu was then curious about the buyer's identity who was willing to spend that much money just for a painting. He then tried to track down the buyer. When he found the address, it turned out that the person who bought his painting was none other than Xin Lu, who looked very miserable. Cheng Zhu then asked Xin Lu about her rich ex-boyfriend. But Xin Lu was silent because she didn't want to talk about it. When Xin Lu asked if he would paint again, Cheng Zhu didn't answer and just walked away leaving her. Xin Lu was crying in frustration over everything that had happened. She was still wearing the ring that Cheng Zhu gave her and kissed the ring because she still loves Cheng Zhu. Xin Lu decides to go after Cheng Zhu. On the other hand, Cheng Zhu also looks sad because he actually still loves Xin Lu. 
His words to Cheng Zhu just now were apparently just a bluff for the woman. Cheng Zhu decided to return to Xin Lu's residence. But when he got there, he couldn't find her anywhere. Meanwhile, Xin Lu is confronted by some thugs trying to take the ring Cheng Zhu gave her. Unfortunately, she actually received a stab wound to defend the ring. Even though she was badly injured, Xin Lu kept running to find Cheng Zhu's whereabouts. She then saw Cheng Zhu's car and immediately stopped him. Cheng Zhu, who belatedly noticed Xin Lu's appearance, accidentally bumped into Xin Lu causing the woman's body to fall. Cheng Zhu rushed Xin Lu to the hospital. He deeply regretted that his selfishness had caused calamity to befall Xin Lu. After the incident, Cheng Zhu decided to see his mother knowing that his separation from Xin Lu was due to her mother's interference. Cheng Zhu then decided to return all the inheritance given to him. Even though his mother begged Cheng Zhu to stay, he still chose to leave and left all of his family's property behind. The film ends by showing Cheng Zhu visiting Xin Lu in the city of Vienna. He then proposed to Xin Lu using the same ring he had given to Xin Lu.